It was late one night in June of 2004, and at Kitt Peak National Observatory, located in the mountains of Arizona, astronomers were looking through its optics when they noticed a small dot swimming into the view. Astronomer Fabrizio Bernardi and two colleagues identified the dot as a possibly newly discovered asteroid. They quickly confirmed that this object was a space rock. Initially given the designation 2004 MN4, the asteroid was intriguing but otherwise unremarkable. It was an object approximately 170 million kilometers from Earth, with a width of a few hundred meters, now estimated at 340 meters. However, a preliminary analysis of the object's orbit would stun the entire world six months later. According to research carried out at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, the asteroid had a probability of 1 in 37, or 2.7 percent, of colliding with the planet in 2029. This was the highest probability that's ever been found for a significant asteroid impact in the recorded history of the universe. And the size of the object was such that it had the potential to wreak havoc across entire regions. According to Bernardi's recollection, it is the most dangerous asteroid discovered so far. The name Apophis was eventually given to the asteroid, which was named after the Egyptian god of destruction. The world breathed a sigh of relief when it was determined that further adjustments to the orbit of Apophis had eliminated any possibility of the object colliding with Earth within the next century. Despite this, the asteroid will come within just 32,000 kilometers of our planet in 2029 when it makes its closest approach to Earth. It will do this by passing below the orbits of geostationary satellites. David Farnokia, who works at the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at JPL, referred to the event as an extraordinary encounter. Objects of this size and distance from Earth only get this close once every few thousand years. When it passes through our skies on April 13, 2029, Apophis will be as bright as a satellite. It will be visible to billions of observers across parts of Europe, Africa, Australia, and South America. And astronomers worldwide will be paying close attention to it both before and after its encounter. When asked how many astronomers will be watching this extraordinary event, Marina Brozovic of JPL had a straightforward response. Everyone. The proximity of Apophis could provide more than just a pleasing view of the cosmos. Many researchers have enthusiastically proposed potential missions to rendezvous with the object on or around the time it passes through our solar system in 2029. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, which was initially launched in 2016 on a mission to collect samples from another asteroid, Bennu, and bring them back to Earth, is now known to have visited Bennu. This brings the total number of confirmed visitors from Earth to one. Osiris Rex is currently on its way back to Earth after completing an eventful encounter with Bennu, and it's scheduled to deliver the priceless samples it collected in September 2023. However, the spacecraft will continue to travel through space, and as a result, NASA has decided to extend the mission at the cost of an additional $200 million. Osiris Rex will now travel to Apophis to complete its mission, at which point it will be renamed Osiris Apex, Osiris Apophis Explorer. Daniela de Lagostina of the University of Arizona, who will lead the investigations for Osiris Apex, says that she finds it really exciting. Osiris Apex will perform initial reconnaissance on Apophis a couple of months after the asteroid's close encounter with Earth. The spacecraft will then enter orbit around the object in August 2029, after which it will begin to study it in greater detail. During the mapping phase of the mission, scientists will be on the lookout for any interesting changes on the surface that Apophis's brief passage may have caused through the gravitational pull of our planet. According to Mike Nolan, a professor at the University of Arizona and the leader of the science team for the OSIRIS-REx mission, the tidal forces could result in small landslides and expose some fresh material and a new form could be given to it. In addition to mapping the surface of the asteroid, one of the primary objectives of the spacecraft during its stay of approximately one and a half years in close proximity to the body is to precisely determine its orbital motion on a scale of meters. Because of this, researchers will be able to determine very precise values for the future trajectory of Apophis and, consequently, its future threat to Earth. According to Farnokia, right now, we can predict all the way to the year 2116. The Osiris Apex measurements will significantly extend the accuracy of such forecasts, though it's not yet known how far into the future this extension will go. The Yarkovsky effect is a phenomenon in which uneven heating from the sun can alter the path that an asteroid takes through space. This is one of the factors that contribute to the uncertainty. This effect on Apophis will be measured by the spacecraft along with any changes in the asteroid's orbital velocity and rotation that may occur as a result of its encounter with Earth in 2029. 
In each scenario, according to Nolan, the spacecraft's measurements will enable scientists to see whether or not our ideas are correct for how asteroids respond to external forces. This is essential information for planning potential interventions against Apophis and other potentially hazardous space rocks. It's possible that Osiris Apex won't be the only mission going to Apophis, and it certainly won't be the only mission concerned with protecting the planet. A group from South Korea has also proposed a mission to the asteroid, in which a spacecraft would launch in 2027 and arrive in January 2029, just before Apophis's flyby of Earth, to improve the ability to observe changes in the asteroid's structural makeup. In addition to that, missions utilizing more manageable spacecraft, such as the Apophis Pathfinder, have also been proposed. According to Brozovich, some private astronauts might even consider flying up to the asteroid in a SpaceX vehicle or another type of vehicle in order to get a look at it with their own eyes. She says, I would not be surprised to have a flyby with a crew of astronauts. Someone could be going on a trip through space. NASA conducted research on how to divert an asteroid in preparation for its DART or Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, which successfully took place this year. Meanwhile, China has recently announced plans for an asteroid deflection mission that they hope to carry out around the year 2025. Andrew Jones, a space journalist who apparently follows the Chinese space program, says that China wants to develop its own capabilities in this area. Jones has been following the Chinese space program for quite some time. At the conclusion of the primary, extended mission of the Osiris Apex, which is scheduled to take place on October 2030 at the earliest, the spacecraft will go to Apophis and fire its thrusters at the surface from a distance of a few meters. The plan is to stir up some material and examine what lies beneath the surface of the asteroid, which should provide more insight into its makeup and architecture. The spacecraft also has an extendable arm that was used to collect samples from Bennu, but according to the mission planners, there are currently no plans to use the arm at Apophis. According to Delagustina, using the arm or even landing Osiris Apex on the surface to act as a tracking beacon could become a viable endgame objective if NASA welcomes a further extended mission beyond the initial 18 months at Apophis. She goes on to say that it is conceivable that the spacecraft, provided it maintains its good health, could even proceed to yet another asteroid. At this time, Apophis does not present an immediate danger to Earth. However, in the year 2029, for only a brief instant, it will fire a warning shot as it passes through our skies, closely followed by at least one curious observer. It's possible that our best chance of avoiding some unspecified catastrophe in the distant future is to learn as much as we can about this thing right now, rather than waiting until later when the situation might be much more urgent. According to Nolan, Apophis is the prototypical representation of the type of asteroid that gives us cause for concern. We should be able to handle the next challenge with the assistance of Osiris Apex.